a couple weeks ago, I posted on the Instagram page, what cookie would you guys like a video for? And the poll was very close between maple brown sugar and chocolate chip biscotti. So because they were so close, I'm going to do both. But the first is maple brown sugar because that was the one that won. So for those of you that know, love to bake. <laughs> and it's Christmas time and we're doing cookie boxes. So check out this recipe. It's fire. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'll put the recipe in the blog post or the caption, whichever. Um, we're gonna start off creaming together the sugar. Okay, so first off, one stick of butter, should be room temperature, softened. I always cut it up into cubes to make it easier to blend, but got that there. It was a little bit liquidy, I left it out too long. Oops. And then we need one cup of brown sugar. Pack. For those of you that don't know what packed means, just press it down. So, honestly, brown, light, or um, dark brown sugar will work for this. the name of these cookies, maple brown sugar. It does not call for granulated sugar, so you do not eat it. So let's get that creamed up. Okay, so we got the butter and the brown sugar blended. So we're gonna do the rest of the liquids. One egg. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Sorry, I'm struggling reading these today. Okay. One teaspoon of maple extract. For some reason, maple extract is very difficult to find. Honestly, I had to go to a shop and save in Katanning to find this, but it's okay. Okay, so we got those. Next is maple syrup. I got this from Target. Don't use like breakfast syrups, um, like Mrs. Butterworth or whatever. Try to get a grade A or grade B. They're just more flavorful for the point of the cookie. So we need a third cup of maple syrup here. Looks good. And okay, so the recipe doesn't call for this, but I have a tendency of throwing in things that I probably shouldn't into cookies, but I think they end up well. So I always add a couple extra spices. So I'm gonna do, and I don't measure this, you do not have to add this, this is all opinion-based. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, a teeny bit of clove, and a little bit of nutmeg. So I'm gonna say clove, ground clove, cinnamon, nutmeg. Get that blended. Okay, so you guys saw the consistency of this. It smells amazing, like Sunday morning and your mom just made you the best pancakes, like that beautiful maple smell. Mm, cozy. <laughs> anyway, off to the dry ingredients. So it's important to blend this slowly. So I typically do like half the flour at a time, blend, half the flour, blend. But let's 
first we gotta do our baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. Some salt, half a teaspoon, not too much. of flour but I'm gonna do one at a time just to prevent any clumps get it blended easily so get your cup it's about leveled out Put that in there get it blended and then an extra third so I've been baking for a very long time and I really do have a tendency of not fully measuring things. Sometimes just winging it. So do with that what you will, but I, if this is, if you're not much of a baker, I suggest following the recipe the first time. <laughs> so let's get that in. So we're all blended here. It smells amazing. The recipe also can be used with like walnuts or pecans. I made them with pecans before. This batch, I'm gonna leave them out. But chill the dough before you bake. So I'm gonna get this in the fridge for about an hour-ish. And then we will bake them and you guys will be able to see the finished product. Okay, so the dough is chilled and I rolled it into the balls. I got this pure maple crunchies from Paul Family Farms at a, the Bloomfield Market last week, and I'm gonna top them with it. Extra pizzazz, you know? So I'm just gonna do like this. Um, oh, where's the camera? Like that. And family, make it in just in the sand you let me. Doesn't matter, it is Christmas in my heart So it should be in the oven about 12-ish um, minutes Some give a little less, some more depending how long you chilled the dough for But while we wait Listen to Christmas music, duh. There they are. Looking good. Okay, so here are the finished products. This was the one that I made. Or eight, I mean. <laughs> I'm not even gonna sit here and act like this is the first time I tried this because it's clearly not because I already bit it, but Fire. Now, bye.